Assalamu alaikum. So in this video about uh, section 2.5, we'll focus on uh, rational uh, inequalities. في خطأ شائع يسوي وها طلاب راح نحكي عنه. So yeah, easy. But be careful about uh, the common mistake. Um, so in this part, we'll focus on rational inequalities, and then uh, we'll uh, uh, talk a bit also about higher order polynomial inequalities. So how to solve uh, rational inequalities? So this is uh, an example. So um, the idea first is uh, to collect all terms in one side. Um, and to compare to zero, now the figure here as for uh, quadratic uh, inequalities. So the procedure, write it in standard form, um, collect it as write it as a single fraction, and jamu as a single fraction, one fraction only, in one side, and zero in the other side. Then factor the numerator and denominator to find the uh, zero or roots of the numerator and uh, the denominator. Then um, draw the uh, real line and uh, uh, make sharp analysis. Perform the sign by taking test points and determine the interval. So the proce process is the same, but uh, uh, let's see an example. So be careful, never multiply by uh, an expression containing x by the, the variable x or any uh, expression um, uh, containing x, which means do not multiply so here, if you write our inequality, be careful, do not multiply both sides by 2x plus 1. Okay? So this is totally wrong. Okay? So here, uh, it's in standard form, since we have one single fraction, one fraction in one side and zero on the other side. Okay, so this is standard form. So we can work here directly. Just see when the numerator p of x over q of, q of x, when p is zero. So 3x minus 2 equals zero means x equals 3 over 2. And 2x plus 1 equals 0 means that x equals minus half. So just draw the real line and put these points. So minus half, okay, here, order. Then take test points. So here, for example, 0, here minus 1. On the year two, and make your uh, sign chart. So for x equals zero, replacing here in this expression, so p of zero over q of zero, if you want, equals minus two over one. So it's a uh, negative. So here we put minus. For x equal two. We calculate p of 2 over p of 2. We replace x by 2. 6 minus 2, 4 over 5. It's positive here. And for x equals minus 1, same thing. We obtain minus 5 over minus 1. So 5, it's also positive here. And the question is uh, to find the value of x which makes this inequality negative here, less than uh, or equal zero, non-positive. So uh, we need uh, 
this uh, uh, piece. So it's uh, from uh, so the solution set from minus half over three over two. It's less than or equal zero. So normally it's closed, but uh, be careful, no division by zero. So here, when q of x equals zero, this must be uh, excluded from the solution set. So in uh, minus half, we have to open always. Mahama can then or equal zero, or basically then or zero. For the numerator here, we can close. So here, the solution set is half closed or half open. Be careful, since here in the denominator, x must be different from minus half to be able to define this uh, fraction. So again, step by step. So first step, standard form. It's already in standard form. So we want negative uh, intervals. Identify the roots or the zeros of the numerator and of the denominator. Perform the sign analysis. So pick any value uh, here. So he picked minus one, he found plus. Then he picked zero, he found negative. Then he picked one, it's positive. And then, so this is the sign chart. Write right, the solution in interval solution, uh, interval notation. Here, be careful, we have to open. X must be different from minus half. Let's see another example, which is not uh, in a standard form. So in this example, uh, we see that uh, my inequality is not uh, in a standard form. Okay. So here, be careful. I repeat the common mistake. Don't multiply by 2x plus 1. If you multiply both sides by 2x plus 1 to say that to um, remove the denominators. So this is totally wrong since 2x plus 1 for some values of x can be negative. And in this case, multiplying by a negative expression, priority j inequality. So here we will first have to write it in standard form. So move four to the other side. And then combine these two fractions into a single fraction. So here one, so the common denominator is 2x plus one. This remains unchanged. In a four, in a to reduce to same denominator, we have to multiply this fraction by 2x plus one up and down. 2x plus one less than or equal zero. So we have 3x minus two. And we expand here minus 8x minus 4 over 2x plus 1, less than or equal 0. So finally, after simplifying, minus 5x minus 6 over 2x plus 1, less than or equal 0. This is the standard form. Okay, so this is step one. Then find the roots of numerator and uh, roots uh, of uh, denominator. So for the numerator, minus 5x minus 6 equals 0 when x equals minus 6 over 5, and uh, 2x plus 1 equals 0 when x equals minus half. We draw our um, the real line. So Minus 6 over 5 is less than minus half. So we start by minus 6 over 5 here. And uh, minus half here. And now I make a hole because this makes the denominator 0. It will be um, 
uh, will open in the interval uh, solution. Okay, this must be excluded. Then we take test points here, for example, zero, minus one, minus two, replacing by zero, we get minus six over one. So here negative. By minus one, we get uh, minus one over minus one. So here it's positive. And uh, here it will be negative in this case, replacing by minus two, um, four over minus three. So we need non-positive, so the solution set of this piece and uh, this piece, we start from minus empty, minus six over five. We close union, so disjoint pieces, we open in minus, be careful, here we open, we open even we have less than or not. And then again, I repeat, be careful, do not cross multiply. We write it in standard form. This is the standard form. Identify the zeros, perform the sign analysis, choose um, the pieces where the uh, inequality when the quantity is negative, and then uh, the endpoints uh, exclude uh, minus half, uh, include minus six over five. Mm -hmm. For uh, a higher degree polynomial inequalities, same idea. So here, to solve this inequality, degree three, standard form first, So uh, x cubed minus 4x squared minus 12x greater than or equal 0. Factor, so x is a common factor. Factor, again, um, this quadratic polynomial. Um, we have obvious um, roots, yes, minus 6 and plus 2. And find the roots. We have three roots: zero, six, minus two. The real line. The roots. The tertib minus two, zero, and six. The zero here. Test points. For example, minus ten. Minus one, one, ten. Okay, so for x equal ten, we have thousand minus four hundred minus hundred twenty, so it's a plus. For x one, one minus four minus twelve, it's minus. For minus one, minus one, minus four, minus five, plus twelve, plus. For minus ten, it's minus. Here we want it non-negative or equal. So the solution set, we have this piece and this piece. We close here all union six to infinity. Okay. Uh, another example. Solve the inequality x cubed, for example, minus x squared greater than zero. So here we factor x squared by x minus one, the roots, so x is zero, double root, and the x equals one, the line, zero and one, the test points, minus one, half, two, we replace for minus one, 
we get minus one, minus one. So min negative for half one over eight minus one over four. So here also negative. So you see here in this piece and in this piece, we keep the same sign minus and minus. Okay. So the sign, it depends, doesn't change always. And for two, eight minus four plus. So here for positive, we have only this part. Okay. So from one open to infinity. Good luck.